in 1959, Jonas Salk, the researcher of polio vaccine, met the architect Louis I. Kahn. Together, they contributed to the design of Salk Institute. This divine architecture perfectly integrated classical revival architecture with modern architecture, and eventually became one of the greatest designs in Louis I. Kahn's career. We rendered it as the mobile phone wallpaper. This is the first video of the famous architecture series. In this example, we will mainly talk about the application of HDRI in SketchUp and V-Ray workflow and some simple and practical skills. Okay, let's get started. At the end of the last tutorial, how to render super realistic physical model, we emphasize the importance of lighting for beautiful picture in architectural visualization, which is even more important than material in most cases. With harmonious, natural, and delicate lighting, our rendering work is almost half done. Dealing with the lighting is the biggest headache for many people. Many newbies might complain, I just want a simple environment lighting, such as a sunny day. Why is it so troublesome to achieve in the renderer? Can the realistic and natural environment be built into the renderer? Then just give me a switch that can be turned on when I need it. As you can see, the light in the real world doesn't seem complicated. The sun emits light, the light scatters in the atmosphere, and the sky lights up, that's all. In fact, this is what V-Ray does. After you turn on the render settings, if you render directly with default settings, V-Ray will illuminate the scene using the sun and the environment sky. But the result is usually not satisfactory to most people. It looks terrible. This is not because there is something wrong with this system, but because the lighting environment composed of sun plus environment sky is too idealistic. Just like the absolutely ideal space we imagine to get rid of the interference when we carry out a thought experiment in science. So the lighting provided by this system is not bad, but metonymous and boring. We need a real sky, beautiful clouds, and more importantly, we need natural, delicate, and varied light. Is it possible to collect the illumination data of the real sky and then use it to illuminate our scene? The answer is yes. In the 1990s, image-based lighting, IBL, was used in CG industry and HDRI technology came into being. HDRI is the abbreviation of High Dynamic Range Image. The file suffix is usually HDR or EXR. Compared with the 8-bit image, HDRI has a much wider dynamic range, which allows HDRI to obtain more brightness information from the brightest to the darkest in the real world without losing details like 8-bit images. On the left is an 8-bit JPG, and on the right is a 32-bit HDRI. These two looks almost identical, at least from the screen. But after we use motion blur in Photoshop, you will find that the highlight of the 8-bit JPG is almost gone, while the 32-bit HDRI has a perfect highlight blur. The reason is very simple. In an 8-bit image, the highest, let's say, energy of an image is 255, which is displayed as pure white. When the highlight area is stretched due to motion blur, the energy is not enough to reach 255 after being scattered. But the highlight area of a 32-bit image has higher energy. Although it still looks white from the display, its data is much higher than 255. 
In another word, it's even brighter than pure white. Even if the energy of its highlight is scattered, it's still bright enough to reach 255 on the display. And this is why HDRI can be used to illuminate our model. On websites such as HDRI Haven, you can easily download lots of panoramic sky HDR for architectural visualization. Back to our example, turn off the sun and the environment sky in V-Ray and add a dome light in this scene. There is an HDRI image of a sky preset for you by default. Click Texture Slot to replace it with your own HDRI. Click Render. And this is what the scene looks like when it's illuminated by this HDRI. In V-Ray for SketchUp, one rule is that the center line of the HDRI posted into the dome light is in the negative direction of the red axis of SketchUp. So if the sun on the HDRI is just located at the center line, the shadow will be in the positive direction of the red axis. Click Texture Slot, click Texture Placement, and you can set its Rotate H and Rotate V. V-Ray also provides a more straightforward and better position setting method. In Dome Light settings, you can select Use Transform to rotate the model in SketchUp to achieve the same effect. Look at this little arrow. It represents the center line position of HDRI. To express some kind of divinity, rotate the dome light 90 degrees horizontally so that the sun is facing the waterscape. Of course, in reality, it's impossible for the sun to appear in this position. But in this way, it sublimated our imagination about this great architecture. Then is the exposure setting of HDRI. You can simply set the exposure, highlight burn, and contrast in the V-Ray frame buffer window to adjust the whole picture. But if you want to get the best lighting effect on the basis of the overall exposure adjustment, you need to pay extra attention to the value of dome light and the gamma curve of HDRI image, as well as the subtle relationship between them. The value of dome light is easy to understand, that is, linear increase of the brightness of the whole HDRI. Find gamma curve here. By default, HDRI color space uses the way of rendering space linear. When we change it into gamma curve and set the value to 1, the result is exactly the same as that of the rendering space linear. To better understand this parameter, you can consider it as something similar to contrast. When the gamma value is less than 1, the contrast between light and dark of the HDRI image will increase. In another word, the sun is brighter, so you will get a shadow with a higher contrast. However, if the sun is too bright, there may be overexposure, and the overall intensity should be lower to balance the exposure. When gamma value is greater than 1, contrast will be weakened and the shadow will get softer. We can restore the lighting of an HDRI image to the most appropriate status by managing the relationship between the two parameters. This process will take some time, but it's worth it for the final result. After the adjustment, we set the dome light value to 2.33 and the gamma value to 0.75. In addition, we adjusted the highlight burn in the frame buffer window to remove the overexposure. 
And here we are. We have a satisfying lighting. Next, find bloom glare effect in the frame buffer window. Of course, this step can also be put at the end of the whole work, but we can do this now to preview whether the current exposure can produce beautiful glare. It seems that we have done a nice job. The glare is wonderful. The great lighting makes the material setting in this example relatively easier. In order to make the tiles look less boring, add a multi-sub map to the diffuse texture slot of the tile material. This way can make the map look more random and natural. By using different colors, you can see the random results clearly. We used 7 tile maps with color nuances. Finally, this is a scene against the sunlight. In order to make the back facet of the building not too dark, we wrapped in a color correction in the concrete map to make it brighter. This is the final result, and there is no post-editing of Photoshop because it's almost unnecessary. We want to express some kind of divinity of this great architecture, and I think we did it. This is our first video of the famous architecture series, using SketchUp and V-Ray to make mobile phone wallpapers. I believe it will be a good start. If you like this wallpaper, you can get it from our Behance homepage. If it inspires you, don't forget to leave a comment. Your support will inspire us to make more interesting tutorials. This is SketchUp Rabbit Hole. Subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the notification bell to keep up to date with our latest videos. You will get more interesting tutorials and examples of things that you've never seen before. We are special. See you next time.